This is my favorite part of the podcast. Thanks for hanging out. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, then you are a new creation. Hey, hey, hey. hey everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? What is today? Today is Tuesday, May 10th. I'm your boy, Christian Israel, and you are tuned in to the new creation scripture section. This is the third section of the Christ in Crypto in the morning podcast that's live every single day, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. on YouTube. We do upload these later, whether you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play, Amazon Music, Spotify, wherever it may be, or just on YouTube. Thanks for coming along. Try to get us 10 likes every single time. So please do that social media thing, like, subscribe, and do all those things. But most importantly, thank you for being here. And so every single day we spend some time and we discuss the scriptures. This is how I get my daily dose of the Lord, get in here and, and share some word with you. And this kind of just popped in my head today. You know, as yesterday in crypto, as all these corrections, as Luna, right, as, as, as this happened, right? This didn't happen yesterday, but as Luna happened yesterday and all this craziness, I thought about the Tower of Babel, okay? I thought about the Tower of Babel. And what is the Tower of Babel? So I'll go over this here in the scriptures in a second. Uh, But the Tower of Babel basically is a place, I guess it's better off reading the scriptures first. And then I'm going to go into it. Let me just read this to you, okay? It says, this is Genesis 1, just Genesis 11, 11, 1 to 9. All people on the earth had one language and the same words. When they traveled east, they found a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them hard. They used bricks for stone, asphalt for mortar. They said, come, let's build for ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky. And let's make a name for ourselves that we won't be dispersed all over the earth. Then the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the humans built. And the Lord said, there is one, there is now one people and they all have one language. This is what they have begun to do. And now all they have, now all that they plan to do will be possible for them. Come, let's go down and mix up their language there so they won't understand each other's language. Then the Lord dispersed dispersed them from over all from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city therefore it is named Babel, because there the lord mixed up the language of all the earth from there the lord dispersed them all over the earth i think that's the rest of it yep so why am i talking to you about this as I'm looking at crypto, as I am looking at the space in general, everyone, let's, we all can speak the same language now. We're all speaking crypto or money or tech or English, right? In other words, right now, we're all speaking that same language. We all said, come together. Let's make something better. Bricks. Let's bake them hard. This is us in the crypto market. So they use distributed ledger technology. They use DeFi, IOCs, IOCs, ICOs, SPACs, or DAOs, right? They use these things to help build themselves a city, right? Right? Here is Bitcoin City, if I can get it being built right now in El Salvador. Bitcoin City being built right now in El Salvador. Let's make a name for ourselves so that we won't have to be dispersed. So these people, like we us, want to make a name for whether it be in Bitcoin or XRP or whatever. Let's make a name and then they can no longer move any of our crypto or any of our lives. They can control anything anymore. We can control our own lives. We can do what we want. That's not God's plan for us. God's plan is not 
to do what we want, to do what he wants us to do, to serve him and desire. He puts the desires on our heart. So he comes down to see what they're doing. Because now that people have one language, are able to communicate to each other, they understand that if we work together as one, we can do whatever we want. Did you hear that? God understands because he put that in us. If we work together as one, we can do whatever we want. It says anything is possible for them if us as his creation puts our mind together. One, that's why the devil wants to split us up right now. He wants to split families up. He wants to split the church up, the believers up, because anything the believers together can do in Jesus' name will be done. Nothing any different today. But he said, the Lord came down and said, these people just want to do something in their name. They want to make themselves gods. They want to build their own cities, build their own towers so high that they can build up to the heavens. Don't we see that in the cities, the skyscrapers today? People trying to build into the heavens. So the God says, you know what? How can I get them to focus on me? Confuse their language. Get them to have to rely back on me. And that's what God gets to keep it like, rely on me. Stop relying on people. Stop relying on image. Stop relying on idols. Stop relying on being big. Rely on me. Rely on me. That's what this is saying here. Yeah, it talks about the Bible. It talks about Babel and where he breaks all the languages up and spreads them all over the world and gives us the origin of the broken languages. But most importantly, what I'm hearing he's saying here is stop relying on each other to beat the impossible. Instead, rely on me and I'll bring you together to do the impossible because everything is possible with God. Insane, right? That's all he's saying. That's all he's saying. Anything is possible with God if us as a church, us as a believer of Christ, us as followers of Christ, we stick together, we do it together, we believe in him, we pray together, we walk together in this broken world right now We can do the possible. We can do the impossible. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Nothing can bring us down. No fear. No principalities. Nothing. Christ is at the forefront of our lives. So I ask my community, I ask my wonderful people who are here, remember, we're not here. That's not what I want to, I want to ask you, why are you here? Why are you in this space? Are you here to make a name for yourself? Are you here to let the Lord bless you and use what blessings he has given us in this space? to do the good for his kingdom together for his glory. How good is our God? We might not always be in the right direction, but if our eyes are focused on him, we'll walk in the right direction. This is your boy Christian Israel and you do are turned into the new creation scripture section this is the third section of the Christ in Crypto podcast in the morning. Thanks for stopping in. Please make sure you do the social media thing. Love you so much. And God bless. This is my favorite part of the podcast. Thanks for hanging out. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, then you are a new creation. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and do the thing that people do on social media. At Twitter, at TikTok, you know, New Creation Capital. Let us know, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Later, guys.